Oh, g'day. Didn't see you there. Well, it was that time in 2015 where the Christmas tree set up, the presents are even wrapped, and the cricket's back on the TV. And it got me thinking, what's the design and technology faculty been up to this year with regards to flip learning? Well, why don't we go have a look? So this year in photography, Narelle has used Instagram in a way to flip her students' learning by them posting up their final images on a school-based account. Uh, some challenges with this is to be able to have students access this at school. Also the management of the um, Instagram to make sure that all content is appropriate. Students have really engaged with this task and enjoyed sharing their images with the world. Narelle has also created tutorials on techniques for photography. Starts to become the actual exposure of the image. Then we go over to the white. You can see that I haven't got a lot of white, so I lift that up, and then you can see that that's nice and bright. Another technique Narelle and I have both used in our classes is Kahoot. Ever since the PLC uh, demo slam, we've both wanted to incorporate this, and we've had some great success being able to engage students, but also uh, get an idea of their learning from particular lessons or content. Along with using tools like Kahoot and flipping content for lessons, what I've been doing is flipping feedback to students through the drafting process of the major folio in both stage one and two. This has been really, really successful and students have uh, really appreciated the effort. Uh, the actual final drawing here, just need to include some more dimensions of the drawing some, so that we can get a bit more of an accurate idea of, of sizing of things. Okay, so you need to provide the evidence in the testing and modification. So that goes for all of them. G'day everybody, it's uh, just me. Uh, gonna go through. Ever since I heard about Toby flipping his faculty meeting, I thought, why haven't I done that? This has allowed so much extra time for curriculum development and professional development within the faculty, which I've found extremely beneficial from a leadership point of view. It's been excellent to see the rest of the faculty getting involved with the flip learning. Dave Swanson, George Fister and Nima Valamanesh have all put together these videos. Swiveling around the top slide or compound rest. Today we're going to visit oxyacetylene welding and we need to have a look at a typical station that we're going to work at. Competent and safe when using these machines because if you don't know what you're doing you're more likely to hurt yourself. Dean Cole has also been very busy preparing this and other videos uh, for his Stage 2 Furniture Construction class. To plan and to evaluate. Steve continues to produce flip videos of complex processes in the complex program of Katia. He's been doing this for years and has found it's had great results. That surface, there it is. You'll have to go right click update. Dave Clift has also joined the flipping scene with a series of videos about complex techniques for drawing circuit boards on the computer. Uh, um, supplies that can be used, but the terminal block 2 pin is excellent for what we want to use. Well, there you have it. There's just some of the things that Design and Technology faculty has been up to this year. Some things that have really worked has been identifying areas that would really benefit from the flipping process. Uh, students flipping. Uh, their own processes to, to help create a bank of resources. Um, the increased quality of instruction given to students and the reinforcement of that. And the realisation that short instructional videos can help promote individualised learning and independent learning. So some of the areas that people had some issues with were the technical side of producing the videos using programs like iMovie to create these flips and also trying not to reinvent the wheel using already gathered resources like YouTube videos coupled with the videos that we're producing. The design and technology faculty just wants to continue to flip, continue making those instructional and content videos, but also incorporate other tools like Kahoot and Verso. So a very exciting future for design and technologies. Thanks for listening and we'll see you later.